Hey Virgo people, so I got a message. I got to dive in for you. So I'm on the screen. Oops, okay. <clears throat> Getting into something deep, something very intense or extreme below the surface. This could be feelings or shit just got real. Something got deep, maybe a little deeper than you ex anticipated. Something now either needs to be deeper or it needs to be dismantled. Something that got deep now needs to be dis destructed. I mean, deconstructed or blown apart. Or it needs to be reconstructed and built better. Whatever it is, it's something you created. And it's also something you have to decide about. It could be two things happening at once where the dismantle of one thing births the beauty of another thing. Something definitely requires a dismantle of some sort for some. For others, I feel as if you didn't go deep enough. And something requires you to dive in. It's possible that until this dismantle happens, you won't be able to dive in at all. There are choices and decisions. What are you going to do? Concerning yourself with the opinions of others won't help you at this time. You got to do it for you and only you. Okay. Ugh. Look, my little. I'm excited. Let me fix this. Yeah, I'm close, so I didn't put a little something, a little hair thing on it. Because I ain't got no safety pin. Something could be breaking open out there. <laughs> I don't need to be showing no cleavage up in here. I just need to be showing cards and intuition. <laughs> Excuse me, Virgo. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and concise messages for the Virgo people. Sorry, I had to take a second to get my own personal prayer in. Let me get that energy up off me. Alright, what we got for the Virgo people? God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Only energy of high vibration. How wide well and high frequency is welcome. No energy of low vibration, low frequency, or negativity is welcome. And I ask you to drink it in the name of you. Amen. Somebody could be sending you bad energy that you return to the sender or will be returned for you. Okay? We got for the very people. So we got some type of confessions here. So you are, could be telling someone something or you had something to tell somebody or somebody got something to tell you. Then we got moving. A change of residence or moving in with your partner. And we got gold digger. Ain't that a bitch? They want your money and you're being used. Pets. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. You can have a pet. That could be helping you at this time with your healing. Patience. Just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. So you could be moving or being patient about a moving situation. You could just realize that you're living in with a gold digger. And now you're just being patient for them to move. Give it time. Earth sign and commitment. Someone else. If it's a commitment, it shouldn't be someone else. I don't know what's going on here, Virgo. I feel like you're trying to be patient with something. Some, somebody's watching over you here. Some type of ancestor or guardian. Well, let's just get into this. Tell me about this confessions. Your pet could be confessing something to you. I know that sounds weird, but some people do got the gift of speaking to animals. But you're receiving messages here when it comes to a confession. It could be from a Capricorn. It could be from a Pisces. You could be confessing to a Capricorn or a Pisces. But you're finding out some type of truth here. 
in some form of equal give and take, and it possesses somebody to walk away. The world reverse, the fool. Somebody takes off in a new direction. Moving forward towards a love situation. Possibly with a water sign. What's the devil spirit? Page of Swords. So you could be getting a new perspective on a toxic situation or uh, a Capricorn or fears. It could be a toxic situation. If you're seeing a new perspective and feeling like you need to defend yourself and guard yourself, you're also moving forward, moving away from this person because you see it differently now. Page of Swords. Moving into common waters, Three of Pentacles. Away from a contract or a collaboration or you're moving towards a contract and a collaboration. Something spiritual. With the temperance card. Something that you're doing for you. Something that you that makes you that makes you happy, but you've been maybe fighting it. Some that I share my little thank you person. That could be a message because it ain't happen nowhere else. Something your heart, your feelings could be busting out your chest. Tell me about this hangman. I did see the King of Pentacles down there. And now we got the hermit. Tell my hangman. So you see, so you got, you, you, there was a pause to reflect so that you can see something from a new perspective and you see it. You're coming out with the hermit, which means you see it now. You're aware of some type of investment that you made or some type of investment that you need to make. Judgment, eight of pentacles to the four of wands. Somebody could be working on their stability. But the hangman is clarified by the hermit. The seven of pentacles. The king of wands, the six of wands, and the star. What's the seven of pentacles? Seven of swords. You made a bad investment. You made a decision to put the work into a bad investment. You could have moved in with a motherfucker and everything. Y'all got pets together. You being patient and shit the whole time. Seven of swords. You can't even trust this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. It's you, King of... It's you, Virgo, man. Unless you the liar. I heard scratch a liar, find a thief. Oh, somebody could be stealing. Look, this is somebody you're giving your love to. Somebody you decide to reconcile with, but they playing you. Holding on to you for money. That's why gold diggers out here. Now you see the truth. You're aware now. Planning. Looking towards the future. Guarding yourself. Tell me about moving. You done move the motherfucker all in the crib and shit. Queen of Cups. Could be moving towards somebody. Or you could be dealing with a water sign. So you take, you got a truth here. And I feel like you're jetting the fuck out. Be with that truth. You got these tools here. And you could be moving. But the emperor here, somebody's taking charge of a move of a relocation. You could be relocating where you place your emotions, where you place your uh, time, where you place your investment. Tell me about the emperor. No, something's over here. Somebody got it twisted. They do. You're taking charge of a betrayal, of a bad decision, of a motherfucker who's playing crazy, holding on to you for your money, ten of swords in their ass. You're getting them up out of here. This could be a relationship, some type of family situation that you're in, and a motherfucker just playing, playing their role. They, yeah, you could. This person definitely could live with you, and they don't want to miss out on an opportunity to live with you. So they just being patient and playing their role while they go dig the shit out of you. If this is somebody you're guarded to and moving the fuck away from. Tell me about gold digger. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. All in the bank. 
Somebody trying to get that money. Justice. They, they feel like uh, it's justified or they're entitled. That's what I'm getting. The Knight of Pentacles. I mean, the Knight of Wands. But let's back up real quick because the Emperor was sitting next to this Queen of Cups in this Page of Pentacles. Let me talk about the Queen of Cups real quick. The Ace of Pentacles. So some of y'all could be moving towards a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and off, trying to offer them something. The Death card. Transform. Page of Cups and apologize. After you retreat and put the burdens down from the situation that you're dealing with, could be a marriage with this Queen of Pentacles right here. Talking about the Knight of Wands. Somebody figure they come in, sway you with some good old ass, and they just get what they need out of you and roll the fuck out. This is something you've been patient with, something you've been planning, something you've been, I don't know, I feel like you, you really had plans for this. And the motherfucker just trying to use you for your money. You're stressing because your intuition told you something about this Ace of Wands. It told you about a new idea, some, something else. But wise counsel is here. The Hierophant with the King of Swords. They're here to let you know that you're dealing and trying to build a future with a motherfucker who's playing this shit out you. This is you being protected with the Guardian under there. They're coming through to show you what the truth is. And you become single like a motherfucker. Ain't shit to go dig after that, but it does hurt your feelings. Your, your heart is broke behind the shit. Because you're sitting here building and investing and making and trying to put some shit up for you and a motherfucker that's just trying to get you for your money. You said disappointment and regret. You could be dealing with another earth sign. And this is what somebody did to you, Queen of Pentacles. Or somebody's going to be coming to tell you that this is what happened to them. Tell them about pets. Seven of Cups. The Will of Fortune. The High Priestess. Somebody should have been courageous enough to jump through that twin flame hoop. And they wouldn't have been settling for this. But you should be patient with yourself. You protect it. But this gold digger got to go. Somebody could have bought you a pet, knowing that you love pets. Somebody try to play games with you. Try to do little shit. Seven of Cups confuse you. To get stuff out of you. They making you think we're going to have an equal give and take. We're going to have a balanced situation. Oh, we're going to heal this. I'm going to do this. And we're going to do that. She making plans, taking charge, standing up. Somebody from the past that you got history with. But your intuition was warning you. This person was feeding you an illusion. She knew she didn't want that. The cup you was offering, she's not interested. Look how her arm just crossed and her back is time. It's a burden. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What the fuck's happening? Somebody just needed to manipulate you long enough or dangle something in your face long enough for you to bite like a fish, you know, like they're fishing, for you to bite onto the bait. Next thing you know, you're offering them pentacles, solid opportunities, or money. Next thing you know, you realize they hold on to nothing but your money, but you already done took too much of a major loss by the time you learned this lesson thinking you got something solid. Four of pentacles. But the four and the ace is the five. A motherfucker wants you to take a loss while they take your shit. And that's you, Virgo man, coming up as the emperor. And a motherfucker trying to bleed you dry. Just in case you make a decision to go towards some type of passion in the new beginning. Wouldn't you rather just stay focusing on the past, disappointed, says this motherfucker? Hell no, you want to walk away from the lies, stand in the truth, and find your balance. You want to heal from a gold digger. This is so selfish. Patience.
I feel like you're trying to have patience here. Because you might even be living in the same house with this person that you just found out the truth about. They secrets just surfaced on them. Moon energy to the King of Swords. He knows now. The King of Swords knows the full energy. You could be feeling like a fool. But you realize, damn. This is something you chose that was not so stable. Moon card. You was patient. You waited on this. You did this and did that. And the whole time I feel like all this was being done out of disappointment from the past. A determined to succeed in, in a place where you didn't need to. You wanted to heal something, but you had no clue about that underlying truth. You being patient, waiting, planning, but your intuition kicking you, and you ain't listening to it. You just want to do your own thing. You just want to hold hands in the park. You just want to manifest what you want to manifest. Ended up being a ten of swords, but you thought it was love. You thought this was the lovers. Now you're walking away bruised the fuck up from a Capricorn. Look like, look like you're walking away from a Capricorn, or you're walking away from somebody who was toxic. Virgo woman, okay? A Virgo man. Ten of swords. Somebody's going through a painful ass ending with a gold digger. That's the queen of swords. She ain't lucky. And you, 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 the queen, the, the four of wands says that you might be living where? Like y'all might be living in the same place. You got anxiety every night. You got to go home to a motherfucker who's using you for money. Ain't that a bitch. You trying to figure your way out. But right now, you got anxiety. You're trying to figure out how to put this whole shit down. You protected, though. Guardian. I feel like you're going you gonna to find a way out. Five of Pentacles reverse, yeah. To the Seven of Swords. you about to come right out the cold. Or right from under this financial hold or whatever's going on. Six of Pentacles. To the Love card. Ace of Cups. Okay, so don't tell me you're going to try to get out of it by going to offer your love somewhere else. Having an equal one. What's the Seven of Swords spirit? This high priestess. Now you could be secretly sneaking somewhere. Shit. Yeah, something that doing something your intuition told you to do. Taking charge of a situation. So then you try to go somewhere. You follow your intuition. Try to go reach out to this Queen of Cups. Who's in reverse, by the way. But it looks like you want to reconcile. Looks like you see who the Empress is. What? Well, how's the Empress feeling about Virgo? You just, or non, or masculine energy. This Empress is good on her own with the Nine of Pentacles. And you trying to roll up in here after a bitch done used you up? Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's preposterous. See, this empress is good on her own. She's chilling. Something in between, y'all. This is somebody you want to apologize to because now you can see everything clearly. You're moving forward past that bad investment. But how? But more look like y'all living together. You try to just leave the house and go live over here with the empress. Like, how the fuck that's supposed to work? Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups. You're trying to be victorious over a heartbreak, over some heartache, possibly even, possibly even a betrayal. It's a contract that you feel like you got with the Empress. Some healing. You're trying to do some type of healing. Now that you're sick, you got a new perspective after putting the work into a situation that betrayed you. Now you're trying to reach double back on the person that you possibly betrayed. But you probably got food or something. I don't know what's going on. 
Yeah, some type of illusion was here for you when it comes to a long term, some history or some shit you've been dealing with. You thought you didn't want to miss out, but the whole time it was just stagnating you from the real person you were supposed to be with. Well, that's weird. Okay. I'm afraid of hurting you. I hope so. You could be afraid of, of afraid of the fact that you hurt some that you hurt somebody. I hope to have a future with you one day, but you still ain't letting them go. I hope our paths will cross again in the future. So you missing somebody? Are they missing you? I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. We both need time to heal. I'm so in love with you. You are so perfect to me. Oh, so you got it bad for this person. But the whole time you over here investing with a gold digger. That's probably was your karma, Virgo. That's what I, all I can come up with. Could have been your karma for however you did this person. Or your person's karma for however they did you. Creation. Somebody's wanting to create outdated vanity and abundance. See, somebody got tricked to going back instead of going forward. Right now, I feel like they're in isolation because of some type of insecurities that they're trying to balance out. Yeah, because the only way you're going to choose something that's outdated over something that's abundant is because you're not feeling good enough or you're... I mean, because if you know you deserve it, you're going to get it. Maybe it was too mysterious for you, but I do feel like it was your destiny and I do feel like you want to renew it. But you're going to require some type of growth or some type of completions first and then you'll reach out for some type of forgiveness from this person or they will reach out to you. Joy. I feel like it's going to have a happy ending, though. Impartiality. At first, this person won't, won't know what to do. Won't know how they'll be straddling the fence. But then you'll move in to make sure they know how grateful you are. And I do feel like at some point you'll get forgiveness if you show that you're for real. Rejection. I guess somebody won't be. What's this thing? Now, somebody's going to be mad at you or they want to talk about how people have been talking about how you rejected them or they discovered some facade. I don't know. This might blow up a little bit. I feel like not everybody going to get their person back. Sometimes it's just karma. You just got to do better in the next lifetime. But some people will get able to, will be able to, you know, renew. Okay. Because the is the guardians here, meaning that something is protected for some people. It depends on how far you went, how how deep shit got. You know what I mean? How did how how deep did it get? Did it get too bad? Did it go too far? Like the meditation says it did for some people. So take it where you fit. Some people think they know everything, right? You be trying to out here leading the way, thinking you know everything. Then spirit show up and really show you how life really go. You realize you ain't no shit, then you thinking fuck. I done made all these decisions based off of what I thought I knew. Been there, done that. So, but that's what I got for you, Virgo people. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Namaste.